and Christian Espinosa and ultimately get the ball in the box to Jeremy Obobese, who hasn't scored in eight league matches. Yeah, only one change on one side, zero changes on this side. And again, this goes to down to Yoshida. In San Jose, the whistle from our referee, Lucas Zapala, the Polish referee, gets us underway at PayPal Park. We write another chapter in the California Classico tonight with San Jose and LA meeting once again. Luch circles away from Montero, now wide from Costa. Back in the space for the Spaniard, hits it first time and a kick save. Unconventional, but it did the job for the Brazilian keeper and Daniel, second corner for the Galaxy. If you can extend your fullbacks and get them high and wide to create those overloads, then you're relying on the quality of that ball to create that advantage. If they can find that, it's going to be something dangerous. Here is Edwards, press forward, now the ball into space. Mensa will give chase, but Boyd is there first for L.A. Stepping inside of Mensa. Boyd with a good look, looking for the far corner, and L.A. take the lead! A bit of brilliance from Tyler Boyd, and the Galaxy have stepped out in front. Great ball, but an even better individual effort here. That diagonal run off the back shoulder of Mensa. Not only that, but you look at this fake ball, fake cross, drives inside, Mensa loses his footing. But that ability to finish after doing that much work is just fantastic. You look at him drive inside, and then he puts his head up, picks out that back pocket, and just tucks it home with pace. Just an unbelievable finish from Boyd there. And again, you see the close up. Bounces off of Mensa, he goes down. The next player doesn't come over quick enough. He's able to pick out that corner. It's just showing that quality from Tyler Boyd. What a good quick attack from the Earthquakes. Ellis Benoso gonna play short here to Montero. He'll bend it in, and it's in the back of the net, deflected, and we're tied at one. Either way, as you just mentioned, partner, we're tied at one here as we head into the final 15 minutes of this opening half. And that brings the crowd to life tonight. Espinosa looking for more, the wide ball here. Out in front, and it is 2-1! Abobasi, right place, right time, and he's back on the scoring sheet for San Jose. You see that ball go out to a wide area, no pressure on the ball, gets a little lucky through the legs with pace, and Abobasi makes a fantastically timed run just to get in front of the defender there. And he's not going to miss from that area. Eight games, eight MLS matches without a goal for Bobasi. And he gets himself into a fantastic position. Montero just slots that one in. And again, the cleverness of Bobasi to sit on that back shoulder, wait for the timing of the run, and get that momentum. You see again in a play like that, just the way that San Jose Earthquakes are making the field small, making the game predictable, allowing them to release players into spaces. Pooch running right at San Jose's defense, bending for the corner. Oh my goodness! Just as San Jose did it in a split second in the first half, Pooch ties it in the second. You shouldn't leave Pooch this open, allow him to drive up the field, but to take that many touches set up, kiss that one off the post. You see from this angle, this is going to be a great one, just driving up the field untouched best player on the field. Caligari able to keep the possession alive. Edwards, good touch for Jovalich, back the one, two, and a point to the spot. Edwards, a really good attacking fullback. You see that combination play there. That ball from Pooch comes into him, his first touch forward, lays it off to Jovalic, and then again looks to lay it off to him again. Those two players come in and close that gap off. Let's take a look at this angle. And I see the trip there. It's actually Troco. From Troco. Yeah, there's definitely contact. Tough to argue. It's after the play, not leaving him any space to go into, but that contact from Troco the lower legs and we see it again. That's the most definitive angle right there. Looking for his third of the year and to give LA a lead and he does! The Galaxy back in front on the hour mark. Espinosa. Through the legs.
legs of Fagundes, but help defensively coming over from Cedillo. It's LA who have been able to fight back from a 2-1 halftime deficit, and it is 3-2. Jovalic again currently sitting with the game winner. Great through ball here for Abobasi. He's already got one tonight. Abobasi, and it goes just wide. And you look at the timing of this run. Yoshida playing a trap. Here is Aguirre. Boyd looking for the far post. And it goes up and over the top of the crossbar, but certainly forced Daniel and goal for San Jose to take a look. Maya Yoshida. Second appearance in an LA uniform. Sends it across! It's off the crossbar! Espinosa nearly tied the game with what would have been a candidate for goal of the year. Back in front and cleared away by Yoshida. Another San Jose corner. Oh my. See that volley off the crossbar. When you take a look at that back line there, a number of players from the Earthquakes just waiting for that service or a knockdown. Thompson in for Chakaris. Playing to the back post. And it's tied at three! But the offside flag is up. The offside flag is up. It looks like he's drifted just a bit offside. What a ball from Chakiris, though. Driven into the near post, headed away by Caligari, and that's the whistle. San Jose lose for just the second time at home inside PayPal Park and the Galaxy with their second road win of 2023.